The moment has come. The moment, the time is now. We are going to check out one of the most iconic, iconic Elvis Presley songs. And as you read by the title, because I can't keep anything a secret because you had to click on the video. Literally. In the ghetto. Now, why is this so significant? Because I am actually from the ghetto. You know, being black, man, you already know you have certain things that go on in your life that um, most people can't relate to. Um, it's not a shot at anybody. Um, I think that depending on whatever walk of life you come from, you're gonna have advantages and disadvantages that only you and your inner community until you move to the outer community have to deal with. Now, being black, we had to deal with ghetto situations. We had to deal with ghetto people. And you know what I'm saying? And just because you're in the ghetto doesn't mean you are the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? But me living where I live, uh, especially in St. Louis, Missouri, St. Louis is like one big whole hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially you get downtown and you get to the houses downtown and the people downtown and the things, the mentality. A lot of times the hood is not building. It's a mentality. People get trapped in it. And we're going to see what Elvis has to say. I've heard this song before, but I've never really heard it, if that makes sense. So I've heard it as a child, but I don't, I had, I never deciphered it. I never took a look and listened to it as an adult. That's what we're going to do today, all right? So y'all, get y'all popcorn ready, man. Get y'all subscribe buttons ready. And if you already subscribed, I appreciate you. Hit that like button, man, because your boy, we going to the moon, all right? We're headed for 10,000 subscribers. We're at three right now. We're going to the moon. So I need you to subscribe right now. <laughs> It just hit me though like he just you know one if y'all know anything one chicago is not that far from st louis i stay in st louis like i'm listening to what he say see y'all might some not y'all i know y'all y'all are cool but some people might come here and say he's just reacting to elvis because he wants to get views. He doesn't really care or whatever. That's not the case for me. Now, let's check out Elvis. Let's see who he was. Let's start checking out all of these singers and musicians because they are so interesting, just who they are as people. I'm a musician, I'm an artist. Like, I know I'm interesting. You know, it's not nothing too crazy, but they like to hear what I have to say a lot of the time. And so when I hear people like Elvis speak or people like James Brown or even Juicy J or, you know what I'm saying, Dr. Dre, all these people, like, I'm just like, damn, these were intelligent people. He just said, you know, like a baby child was born in a ghetto and then basically the child grow up to be frustrated and upset. I'm like, damn, bro, do you know that is a lot of people in my community, bro? Like, that hit home, bro. I, and I, I can't even fake it on Elvis no more, bro. Like, you know, he, he was the real deal, bro. <laughs> Cries. But if 
there's one thing she don't need is another hungry mouth to feed in the ghetto. People don't you understand? The child needs a helping. I hear you're gonna be an angry young man someday. And take a look at you and me. I'll be too blind to see. Or do we simply turn our heads and look? the other way where the world turns and a hungry little boy with the runny nose plays in the street as the cold wind blows in the ghetto boy this is man hold on y'all who shit <laughs> my bad y'all I'm not I, I swear I'm not soft or nothing but Whew, hold on, man. I'm gonna keep this in the video just just for the simple fact that, bro, man, this is crazy, bro. Y'all, bro, people do people do not understand. Shit, my bad, my bad, y'all. People don't get it, bro. You know, this this dude straight get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people do not get it, bro. Like, that shit is hard, bro. Like, he just he just said that. See, he just said the struggle, bro. Like, he just said it, bro. Like. That shit hard, bro. Imagine a woman, bro, like, she crying, weeping because she don't want to give away her baby, but she can't afford to really feed him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is powerful, bro. It made me think about, it made me think about the things that I've seen in life, bro. It made me think about people that I used to know and that I, you know, that has passed away, you know, unfortunately. Just off of situations like that, just off of deeply stressful situations, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he wrote it or who wrote it or whatever, but that's some pretty powerful shit. My bad, y'all, man. I don't mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't normally, it take a lot to get me like that, like this, but I'm just saying, like, I felt that shit and it hit me initially. Like, I felt it and I tried to take a break and, like, you know, catch my breath and shit, but, whoo, shit, boy. Oh, man. All right, my bad, y'all. Let me keep going, bro. That shit is crazy. And his hunger burns. So he starts to roam the streets at night and he learns how to steal and he learns how to fight in the ghetto. Don't get far and his mama cries As a crowd gathers round an angry young man Face down on the street with a gun in his hand And he gets old And that the young man dies On a cold and gray Chicago morning Another little baby child is born the cycle continues. The he basically just said, and the cycle continues. The, and the cycle continues. Like, you know, I got a son. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, people don't understand, bro. They don't get it, bro. That's that's it, though. That's right there. That You know, that's all rap music is saying, bro. Like, I know, like, you know, people be thinking, like, rap music is, oh, I'm going to kill somebody. I'm going to shoot somebody. But look at what Elvis just said, bro. He just said it. It's like, bro, being a product of that environment, bro, you grow up so, you grow up so angry, bro. You grow up so mad, bro. You be mad. You just be so mad and people don't get it. They be like, oh, look at that man. He's a mad black man. Look at him. He's a danger to community. He's a danger to society. He's just so mad. He's just mad, mad, mad. But at the end of the day, it's like, you don't understand. You be mad from seeing your mom struggle, seeing your dad struggle, maybe your dad wasn't around, or just seeing him struggle. Then you be mad because your environment is upset, because the environment, they can't grow higher because people blocking them, whoever it is. The mentality, like, you know, like my, like people talk a lot, like slavery wasn't even that long ago as much as we, I hate, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I hate to bring it, but slavery wasn't even that long ago. And I'm not doing a pity party, I'm just saying, all of that shit triples down to the ghetto, the hood, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, and you realize I just had, you know, 
I had I, I had something in my eye. It was something in my eye, but it was just. And he get it, man. Like and what really got me is the cycle continues, and then because he ended the song with another baby was born, so that means that like the cycle is just continuing, and it's like. A lot of things we say in the black community is we're going to break a generational curse. We're going to break this generational curse. It's going to start with me. We're going to break this generational curse. That's why they be like, go to college, go to college, go to college. Because you can't be like me. You can't be like, you know, and it's like, but this is why. Because, you know, you know, it's a lot. Whatever, bro. I'm, I might just be rambling. I don't know. I don't know if I'm rambling. You know, uh. I hear mama cry. There was, I'm glad, I'm glad that he had that because I don't know how many lives he's like exposed the world to what actually goes on. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's pretty powerful. <sighs> really good song by Elvis. Okay, y'all. I need to I need to go, I need to go watch some memes. We got I gotta lift up my spirits. Y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video, bro, thank you. Sorry about it being so long for a two two minute video. Um, I just need a break. I don't even want to play the second. I'm sorry, y'all. I just need a... That was a lot. I need to go meditate on that. Um, I need to go watch some memes, all right? So, y'all, do me a favor. Check check out my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it, bro. I just don't want my son in the ghetto. I just don't want my family. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my family in, in this shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Shit. All right, y'all.